Okay, Coach Agazzino. Uh, Coach Agazzino, uh, big business proprietor Agazzino. I mean, you got a lot of hats you wear. That St. Ed's hat, Saint Ed's right? Hat. Go or, Eagles. Go Eagles. Right? State champs. State, yeah, team state champs. What'd you think last week? Uh, good. Boys are competing well. Uh, same thing with our kids, getting kind of the road to the state tournament, getting the kids ready uh, physically, mentally, so that we're peaking at the right time. That's something that St. Ed's done really well over the years. Something that we try to emulate at West Shore as well. Okay, I got the white whale last week. What'd you think of that interview? It's, uh, I know, it was good. It's good. Coach Hoppernan, right? Yeah, yeah, Coach Six Hopper. minutes. Six minutes of gold. That's good. You see, you called him the Jedi. Which he I is a Jedi. Good. I sent you a text. That was a good uh, good name for him. I think it's, it's appropriate, right? Yeah. Very Absolutely. appropriate. Okay, Absolutely. so West Shore here. This is a this is 100 kids less than last week in Norwalk. Yeah, um, I know a lot of kids qualified last week. Uh, right now, I think we have four or five in the first section. We got one kid out at Oregon Clay, and then we have like three this afternoon. So just trying, you know, kind of last chance to punch a ticket for the state tournament. When you look at this, you know, the OAC is the class of events for youth wrestling and middle school. Yeah. What do you guys think when you West Shore can get as many guys through as possible to their state tournament? At it's, it's, it's a huge deal for us. Um, I think it's I think the OAC does a fantastic job. Uh, Offer and Jude, they do just a really good job at kind of getting kids ready for the state tournament. It looks, it feels, it tastes like the state tournament. So it's really good to prepare kids for the next level. Um, just the whole process, I think it's, it's a fantastic, they do a great job. Job. It's a professional organization and they just kick butt with it. Okay, so I was telling you I was doing product sampling today. Yeah. At my house. Like it. Defense soap with basketball people too. Yeah. My, my in laws are basketball people. My sister in law played Division One college basketball. Her husband's a high school head coach. Okay. I'm showing them the products. They're like, that's amazing that that company's defense soap is that conscious to, to reduce waste by right. 70%. And then the next level is probably making like a biodegradable bottle, right? Would eventually, that obviously, yeah, eventually, right? Eventually, yeah. Um, so actually, I don't know if Guy told you, but uh, Procter & Gamble, they have this packaging award expo kind of thing, and they actually want to feature our commercial um, that we use at uh, New Venture Films uh, from our commercial. They're going to actually feature the commercial at the event. Guy and I are actually going to New York City in two weeks, so hopefully rub some elbows with some of the big dogs. Uh, see if we can network and, and you know kind of leverage not just the packaging the technology but you know again the corporate responsibility side of it as well how incredible is the new commercial for me I watched first off I got the I got the preview you know yeah. probably a day after you but it was like a really amazing commercial yeah. a lot of production value right. drone footage Bar Harbor Maine it was just incredible um, going into a new market right. you know, that's kind of something I'm guessing you're pushing along you know I was there last time right. we were talking packaging and almost like branding stickers decals right. all that type of stuff going into a new market how challenging will that be uh, it's challenging um, you know obviously we have our roots in wrestling I don't think we'll ever lose that uh, but as far as really growing the business you know we got to think a little bigger um, I think we have a great product that has a, a far more extending reach than just wrestling you know the fact that it's natural the fact that it has all these great benefits is you know all, the big thing that we're really promoting now is that we're an everyday soap a lot of the times people look at it and they just say hey if I get something if I get some nasty skin funk I should use defense but it, it's a great product for everyday use um, because it's natural because of all the natural properties that the tea tree oil and the eucalyptus oil have so it's really educating the market on why this is not just a, oh crap, something bad happened soap, but it's an everyday soap that's going to help promote healthy skin flora um, and all that good stuff. Are you this next level of an employee that you carry? I just, yeah, I keep it's my business. Dude, that is my, that's my bottle. Let's get I, have that a, I have a holster and I just kind of <laughs> quick draw it out. So. All right, uh, you got kids to coach. You got anything else yeah. for me? No, keep kicking butt. Hey, keep keep grinding. Keep Defend with your what you built. Where are those guys? Where's, where's Guy, Gus? Um, Gus has the weekend off, so I think he's probably sleeping in right now. I should probably call him, I wake doubt him up. It. I'm guessing no, but where's Guy? Guy is on the gym. He's here? He's here. Jesus. He's a maniac. I gotta grab him. All right, hey, All right. thanks for the time to film what you built. You got it. Thanks.